This is how to use the at array method in JavaScript. If we have an array that we call const my array, and then we initialize that to be 5, 12, 8, 130, and 44. So it's an array with numbers. Then let's create a new constant called returned index, which is going to hold the result of our at method. We're going to say my array, which we just made, and then we're going to call at, and then we have to give it one argument in the form of a positive or a negative integer, which in JavaScript is basically whole numbers like seven, minus four, or even just zero. So let's give it a zero. This number represents the index of the array we want to have returned. And since arrays in JavaScript are zero indexed, meaning the first element is at index zero followed by one, two, three, and four. So by giving the at method a zero, we are saying the first element. So now if we console log the returned index, we should expect to get five back. Saving, and here we see five is returned. If we give the at method a two instead, we see that eight is returned. And if we give the method a negative number, we start from the back. We start from the last array position instead of the first. If we give it minus one, we're going to get 44 console logged. And if we give it minus two, we're going to get 130. The add method works regardless of the types within the array. Here we can see we have strings instead of numbers. And if we now log this, hit the save, we said milk is console logged because it's the first string in the array. This is also the case if you have a combination of types within the array. So minus three should be one, two, three, console log. We see that true is shown. Hope you enjoyed this explanation. Until next time, see ya.